The marketing mix is also known as the four P's. It's just a framework of thinking about different aspects when you're launching a product. It's really key to understanding what marketing is about. And if a firm gets the four P's right, it's going to be easier for them to sell their products. It doesn't necessarily mean it will work, but it's more likely to work if it considers it. So you can see below, we've got product price, place, promotion. I'm really briefly going to go through this now. And in future shows, I'll be going through in much more detail. So product. When we're thinking product, we need to think about the product itself. You know, if it's food, the flavours, the ingredients, if it's toys, what it looks like, buttons, materials, all of that, what it's made out of. We've got to consider the name. We've got to consider the logo and we have to consider the packaging. There is an awful lot going on in packaging. Secondly, we need to set a price. Now, you might think that's easy, but you need to set a price your customers expect to pay. If it is too high, your customers won't buy it because they won't think it's good value. If it's too low, you will lose profit. So finding the right price, and we're going to be looking at different pricing theories in the future. Weirdly placed, putting your product where you want your target market to buy them. It could be the internet, it could be a shop, it could be a vending machine, it could be like um, a food a food stall in the in the street, it could be a takeaway van, it could be um, at a festival, you're going to pay a lot more for things because you can't get out. The place is key. And finally, we're going to look at promotion. Promotion is letting your target market, the people who want to buy your product, who you want to buy your product, know your product exists and building up a brand. So it's all about communicating with your target market. And you can be doing this with TV or social media or dressing up in an outfit and walking down a high street. There are so many different ways of promoting your product. So that's your four P's. Product, price, place, promotion. Now, you've also got to consider the unique selling point, the thing that makes your product different to other people's and gives them a reason to buy it. If you don't have a unique selling point, can't quite see how you're going to succeed. So you need to think about what it is and which one of the four P's or combination of them is going to be your unique selling point. You might have got your four P's if they're just the same as someone else's, odds on you aren't going to win. So. Just have a think, Miss Molly's chocolate, that's sold by Tesco's. The reason why the unique selling point of it is it's cheap. We buy it because it's cheap. It's got nice enough packaging, it's got a nice enough name, it's got nice enough ingredients, all that sort of stuff. But we pick it because it's cheap. On the other hand, we look at Rolex watches. We pick it predominantly for the brand and the self-esteem it gives us. You go, oh, look at Miss Squires. She's got a Rolex on. Everyone will think I'm really posh. So... It's the brand that goes with it. But obviously, the product needs to be good for Rolex. So the product needs to be really, really good quality. It needs to be promoted in a way that supports the brand. It needs to be sold the place in places which are equally posh and exclusive. And obviously, the price matches it. So all your four P's need to match. But there needs to be something, the standout feature that is the unique selling point.